Hey everyone, it's Steve. Today I'm going to show you how to smoke wild salmon on your residential grill. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my brine for the smoked salmon today. It is going to be a salt, maple syrup, and orange zest brine. First I'm going to take my salt, throw it in my pan, and then I'll take my maple syrup put it in there it's a half of cup of each salt and maple syrup so a one-to-one -one ratio and then I will zest my orange and then from there I'll take about a half gallon of water just enough to cover your fillet so like two inches in your pan and then you'll want to mix that up until everything is, all the salt is dissolved. And then for there, from there, we'll open up the sockeye filet out of the vacuum pack. It's completely thawed. And then I'll place it in flesh down. Make sure it's submerged. You'll wanna put your salmon in the brine and then put it in the fridge for four hours, take it out, rinse the filet off, pat it dry, and then it'll be ready to put on your grill for smoking. So today we're smoking with my residential grill. It's just a propane grill. I've pulled out one of the grates and the U-shaped covers that go over the gas propane. I've put a cast iron pot in there, used some real charcoal to get the fire going. And then once the fire was going, I took some, I took some pear wood off my little pear tree in the yard, some shoots, cut them up, and I just throw them on there as needed to let them smoke. And then shut the lid, let it smoke for a half hour, 45 minutes, come out and check it. I place the filet on the top rack to keep it away from the heat. And depending on the outside daily temperature, we'll kinda, you may have to put a little tray in there with some ice um, to keep it cool or keep your fire small. Um, in the colder times of year, you can get away with a little bigger fire and a little more heat. This filet has been in here for, um, let's see here, two hours and 15 minutes, and it's just about done. For this recipe, I chose to use an orange zest maple syrup rub. And then I've occasionally come out and just poured a little bit of maple syrup on the filet. And then just kind of brushed it around to baste it. That'll give it a nice sweet finish.